Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. The best way to do that is to never harm anyone. The best way to do that is to never behave as if you're arrogant and smarter than anyone. The best way to do that is to learn to serve people without your attitude. And the best way to help yourself is to make sure your behavior is righteous before the Lord and everyone. In life, we have to talk about what is righteous behavior and what is not. Righteous behavior is correct behavior. Righteous behavior is learning what you're supposed to do in your world, in your relationships, in your industry, in your profession, in your career, and doing it. Unrighteous behavior is believing that you have rights to people's intimate conversations, intimate relationships, and privacy of nature. Obviously, you know what I'm talking about if you've been listening to me for some time. If you've just begun listening to me, I cannot tell you anything about anyone's crime. But what I can tell you is that people commit crimes against God every day. And the crime against God is, I'm going to control you, I'm going to tell you what you can and can't do, and I'm going to impede your life in a negative way. When they do that, they destroy God's plan. So you have to decide for yourself right now what you believe in. Are you a follower of Christ like you say, or are you a child of Satan most low in the world today? When I start to say most low, what does that mean? Well, we presume that Satan is down below. And only in uh, efficient and effective television programs like uh, Angel, the vampire, did we discover that hell was in the same day of regular Earth at the end of that film. Sorry to be a uh, situation breaker. But I guess what I'm talking about today is not the value of film and television that teach our children and ourselves all kinds of lessons about human behavior but openly it gives us a visual reference to things that we do need to understand about what goes on in the shadows and if you're living in the shadows it means that you're living in a way that is dichotomous it means in the public sector you behave one way but in the private sector you are evil in your way you are angry you are illicit you are immoral and you are explicit. So we have to decide what we show to ourselves about ourselves. And we also have to decide what we're going to show to our public, which is the people that tend to employ us and interact with us. And if you really have a small life, then you don't have a lot of people that you're interacting with. If you have a large life, you might possibly have a couple thousand, four thousand, five thousand people that in theory through social media you're interacting with, but we all know the lie of those companies, is that they are somehow in control of who gets to see us, and that is a form of censorship and discrimination that's being carried out across our American federally protected phone lines. We all know they don't have the right to do that. In life, however, we do have the right to have ups and downs in our relationships whether they are intimate, private, and I mean loving relationships, or whether they are business relationships that sometimes go through those situations. You see, the longevity of the relationship is what you should value, not the brevity of a relationship. Because sometimes relationships that are too brief are being caused to be brief because of people around them not the people within them. On the other hand, there are relationships that go on a long time, even though one party might try to time out, but my guess is they try to time out before Jesus' plan got put in place, or Lord Odin's plan got to take up some space in the world for them.